Hey fellas, welcome back to another episode here at the Mancor. We are in part two of a three-part series of the three most core elemental areas of being a good man. If you're new here, the Man Corps is a community of men digging to their core to figure out who they really are, why they're really here, and who it is that they really want to become. I would consider subscribing. We'd love to have you as a part of the community. For today's video, we're gonna talk about mission and purpose and why this is so important for guys to focus on. So in the first video, I talked about ego. And in the upcoming video, I will talk about confidence, which is always something that we hear a lot, but we're always trying to figure out how, how to define it and what it means to us, how to you know display it. Today, we're gonna talk about mission and purpose and why that is so important for a guy to focus on. And to be totally honest, you know, I don't know that I have clearly found what mine is, but I'm consistently seeking and I'm always trying out different things. I wanna figure out what it is. If it is, you know, helping, helping out this community, maybe that is my purpose. And if it is, that's as much as I can do. Um, and that, that's, that's as good as, that, that's good enough for me. But you don't have to know exactly what your purpose is. I think as long as you're just not settling and you're continuously trying to find different ways. To me, purpose is really something that is larger than yourself. So whether that is, you know, something, it's really something outside of you. It's, it's, serving, it's serving others' needs. It's, it's getting outside of your own desires, your own wants, your own immediate needs, and doing it in a way that either serves a community, either serves people, or lives on past you. So you have to really think of it not so much as how do, I, how do I be successful or how do I build a business that gets me rich or that gets me the nice mansion, but more I believe in the mission so much that the company that I built that led to those things was something that I know helped people change people's lives and will live on long after my days. Now, mission can totally mean something that you're doing for your family. It doesn't have to be necessarily that you're doing for, you know, successes and, and riches. If you're just going about, if you're happy in your, in your job and, you know, things are fairly content, but you want to figure out a way to, you know, work towards or work within your mission, you have to find something that is going to, one, be just kind of a non-negotiable for you. You know, I've been trying to learn a little bit more about the astrological signs and really what it is that motivates people at their core and you know what makes people do the things that they do. It's actually been very very cool to to uh, find out about what my own what my own is. I'm a Virgo, but you know part of being a Virgo is being an educator, being a teacher, thinking or feeling that you want to help, you're compelled to help people. So, you know, I I'm, I'm happiest and I feel the best when I'm actually filming videos in the hope that it can reach you out there, the viewer, and, and to help you out. So that is something that is, that is outside of me. It, it serves other people. And whether or not I ever get a chance to meet you, well, I hope I do, but if, if I never do, if I inspire you in some way or if I help motivate you through a challenge, if I help you overcome a situation, you know, that right there is, is a mission and a purpose that really grounds me and that nobody can take away from me. Nobody can tell me how to do it. In the first video, I talked about uh, when somebody would try to, you know, come in and, and think that they could give advice to Tom Brady about being a good quarterback. Well, I mean, his mission and purpose is already just that, right? So for somebody to come in and say, you know, this is the way that you should do it, it's really not going to phase a guy like Tom Brady because he's already centered in that mission himself. So, you know, that's already something that he's doing. He's already a leader. He's already lived it and is living it and embodies that. So that's a core understanding of, of who he really is. And as a, as a Virgo, mine is, you know, to be an educator, to want to help and inspire and motivate. And in a way that does, to help other people, to help you. And, you know, coming together and really, you know, embracing community and thriving so that we're all collectively growing and we're all collectively getting better as men. 
So that is, that, that is my mission. And that's really why I've created the channel. And that's, you know, is, is it something that I'm making money on? No. Is it something that I'm doing because I want a mansion or a Corvette or because I want my own private jet? No, it's not at all. In fact, it's, it's the opposite. I didn't have a place to be able to go or a, a community where I could go and talk to people and share issues and share challenges with other men. So I felt compelled to actually create one and it was scary as shit and it still at times is, but it's something that I feel compelled to do. It's something I feel grounded in. It's not something that somebody could come in, come in here and tell me how to do differently. You know, whether it's right or whether it's wrong, I'm doing it without even having the results. And if, it, if it's something that lives on outside of me, if it's something that helps or builds better men, that's outside of my desire or outside of my need. That's not something that pays me. That's not something that, that gets me the mansion or the, air, um, you know, the Corvette. It's just something that I'm grounded in helping you do. So that is mission. That is purpose. That is trying to figure out why, why it is that we're here, right? So if it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's, it's usually more, it's usually way simpler to find. It's usually way simpler to find than, than even I made it out to be. I kept thinking that it had to be this and it had to look a certain way and it had to be a certain product. And, and all I was doing was really just bullshitting myself. So try to find something that is really a non-negotiable for you. And, and I would go a layer deeper. So, you know, figure out what it is that your astrological sign is. And I didn't go too deep into it because, you know, it's very complex, but just scratch the surface about what the core elements are and figure out what it is that motivates you, that inspires you and take inventory about what, what you have in your life that, that, that correlates or corresponds with those things. And, and find something that you're willing, open, and able to do for free, that you, that you have fun doing, that you have uh, inspiration around, and that you would do for free. Doesn't mean that anybody's holding your feet to the fire. Just You just feel compelled, motivated, and inspired to do it. Whether or not you get paid or it gives you riches or whatever. It's just something that you feel a calling to do. That is mission. That is purpose. And... If you're building a business or if you're doing any of those things and it, it, it's to, to attain some kind of external validation, that's your ego. And we talked about that in the first video. That is, that is not mission, that is not purpose. I think the number one thing that most guys, including myself, really struggled with is, is that we think that it's the acquisition of, of financial gain or you know riches. And it's no secret, you know, you can go to the, the richest places in America or all over the world and find miserable fucking people. It's true, money doesn't create happiness. I've covered a video in, in, about what you know, success means to us. And in that video, I mentioned a guy that, does, that was like in love with uh, being a garbage man. Well, that is his mission and purpose. He, has, he was driven to you know, make the world a cleaner place. You know, he was driven to recycle and um, you know, take care of, of the earth that he's been given. So I think it's just really cool to really get a good understanding of who you really are and to, to, to find the thing, to scratch the itch that, that really compels you, the thing that really motivates you to inspire other people, your community, to really add value in a way that doesn't bring you the immediate short-term successes. You may never see them. I may never see the, the amount of success that I, that my ego would tell me could get me all kinds of money. But that doesn't matter because I'm doing it without needing the results. I'm doing it because it inspires, it, it, it helps. And that's, that's, to me, is really the definition of mission and purpose. So I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please share your comments below. Like the video, share the video, and please do share the channel with anybody that you feel would be good contributors here at the Mancor. That is video number two in our three-part series. 
The next video is going to be confidence and I look forward to seeing you on that video. Thanks fellas. Cheers.